senior management of ABC Company for inviting us to be here today. Without their coordination and sincere concern for their transitioning workforce, we wouldn't be here to be here today to share this information with you. Please know that your senior management team has said extraordinary things about your skill set and the value that you brought to the company. As I understand it, you range from three to 15 years of experience as mechanics. And through no fault of your own, you're transitioning. Your senior management team wanted me to underscore the value that you brought to your company and how deeply and sincerely appreciated you are. Unexpected transitions. The average work day is approximately eight hours. And in a 24-hour day, that's approximately one-third of our lifetime of the day that we spend at work. Relationships that have been developed, goals that have been shared, teamwork. We've been a part of the team for a very long time. And so this kind of transition can often be like a breakup. You've been loyal. You've done everything that you were supposed to do. And now, through no fault of your own, this relationship is ending. <coughs> if there's anything that everyone here would like to share with you today, is that it's not personal. Transitions have happened historically. And as a third-party person who's engaged in rapid response workshops for a variety of different employers, what I can share with you is that oftentimes these transitions occur as a result of market changes, uh, loss of a contract, uh, loss of de decrease in sales. None of these are things that affect or address the extraordinary professionalism that you have brought to the table. So please know that as we go through this workshop, you are a highly valued and highly skilled employee. My reason for being here today isn't just to share a folder with you. I'm actually here for some selfish motives, if, I don't, if, if you don't mind my saying so. As representative of the Pikes Peak Workforce Center, our job is to, is, is to match work-ready job seekers with vital employers. Who is more work-ready than you? Through your years of experience, demonstrated loyalty, and by the admission of your own senior management team, you are an extraordinary workforce. As you may know, unemployment rate right now is about 5.4% in El Paso and Teller County. Full unemployment, full employment, excuse me, in an economy is typically around 4%. So we're rapidly getting there. And given that you've been employed for so long, you may not be aware that right now it is very much a job seekers market. In fact, before I came over here to speak to you today, with the job titles and skill sets that your senior management team shared with me, I reached out to other employers that would employ similar job seekers. So right now, I have a list of five employers that are dying to meet you, that are excited about your skill set, that can't wait to meet you. So what I'd like for you to know is that already, before we even move any farther, you have options. And if your sincere desire, if your desire right now is to move straight into employment, I can assist you with that. What we also know is that unexpected transitions may bring with them unexpected opportunities. You've been an extra extraordinary mechanic for a number of years. Maybe you'd like to do something else. Or perhaps you'd like to take a little bit of break, uh, take a little break to consider your options. So while I am very good at connecting job seekers with employers, I'm not so good at explaining unemployment insurance. So to make sure that you have the best possible information available to you, I brought a team of my colleagues today with me that are going to, one, explain to you the ins and outs of applying and filing for unemployment if that's something that you should choose to do. I understand that you guys have made a pretty good wage here. What I'd like for you to know is the maximum benefit on unemployment, even if you made a gajillion trillion dollars, is around $530 a week. So if things work out for you and that's a good option for you, my colleague will explain to you the specific details of how you can do that. They will answer all of your questions without a shadow of a doubt. Be sure and take notes because there will be a quiz afterwards. 
the actual quiz is when you actually do it, and you really don't need to take notes. If you forget everything that you've seen here today, the packet that I handed out has got some details for you. And if the entire process is just a little bit overwhelming, I really want to encourage you, please come to the Pikes Peak Workforce Center. We have a resource room um, and extraordinary individuals that will be happy to walk you through the process. My goal here today is to make sure that you have the information that you need, and if you need additional information, you know where to go. So the second issue that I want to take care of for you today is you may have some questions or some concerns about how to transition your health care. So how many of you, having been employed for three to 15 years, were paying attention when the Affordable Care Act came about? Were you taking notes then? <laughs> I wasn't, okay. <laughs> so to make sure that any of those questions are clearly answered for you, I've got another one of my colleagues today from the El Paso County Health Department She's going to walk you through the process of um, engaging at the health care exchange. And if you forget everything that she said to you, you can go to the El Paso County Health Department and somebody there will assist you with that process as well. And then my third and final point is I want to make sure that um, you know that there is a, a significant social safety net available to you here in El Paso and Taylor County. So um, I also have another colleague of mine from the Department of Human Services. She's going to talk to you about some of the resources that are available there. I want to make sure that you're taken care of and that you understand that throughout this unexpected transition, there are a variety of resources in our community to assist you with that. I also want to make sure that you understand these unexpected transitions are in no way, shape, or form personal and or a reflection of your skill sets, your abilities, and your value in this employment market. Once we've taken care of all of those things, we're going to talk about the thing that I do best, which is how you can transition. It's not my goal for you to transition quickly into a new job. We're going to talk about resumes, interviewing, pay scales, and how you can get the best for your, the best, the most money that you can for your skill set. Unexpected transitions can oftentimes be unexpected opportunities. 